guys welcome back to another video now for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my everyday makeup look now i did put up a poll a while ago on my instagram stories um just to ask you guys what makeup look you wanted to see and this was the highest voted one so i've done the look today i'm really happy with how it turned out we just did more of like glowy skin neutral eyes a nude lip as well this is definitely my go-to like everyday glam so if you guys want to know how i achieve this look please keep on watching first of all i'm just going to mention that today's video is kindly sponsored by splendor now if you guys haven't heard of what splendor is they are an australian beauty online store two asian australian women actually are the co-founders of splendor so it feels really great to support my asian sisters out there so splendor actually stock a really beautiful range of beauty brands and their primary focus is actually on clean natural sustainable skincare and makeup products which completely aligns um, with all of my values on skincare and makeup i'm just gonna grab the package just so you guys can have a look at it but this is what the packaging kind of looks like and they're actually a hundred percent recyclable their um, packaging and also the kind of plastic um, little satchel that it comes in is actually 100% compostable as well which is so amazing because the beauty industry actually creates a lot of unnecessary waste and plastic so it's so great that um, Splendor have actually taken the time to make everything um, recyclable and compostable so I got gifted a hydration serum from Salt and Glow the Ofra Rodeo Dry Face and Body Mist and also also the Herbal Dynamics Beauty Hyaluronic Acid and Oat Overnight Recovery Mask. In today's video, I'll probably be using just these two and I'll give you guys maybe an update on my Instagram about the oat mask. So starting off with my skincare, I always like to do a peel pad first because I do have dry, sometimes flaky skin. Like right now, some areas I can feel a little bit of flakiness and texture. That's why I like to start off with a peel pad first, just to kind of even out um, and smooth out any texture or like kind of buff off any like dead skin. So I have two that I usually like to use. This one's from First Aid Beauty. It's a little bit more gentle. And then I've also got the Dr. Dennis. These are the extra strength daily peels. I might use the more gentle ones today just because I feel like my skin doesn't doesn't really need the Dr. Dennis one. So yeah, these are from First Aid Beauty. They're called the Facial Radiance Pads. They're alcohol free, safe for sensitive skin. They've got like aloe vera in it, cucumber water, lactic acid, glycolic acid. So those acids are really gonna help just exfoliate the skin. So that's what it kind of looks like there. And you kind of pick the pad out, just one. Just one's enough. And you just kind of smooth it across your skin. Don't forget the neck as well. What I might actually do is I'm just going to clip my hair back because I know it's going to annoy me. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Le Mer treatment lotion. This is amazing for dry skin. Kind of acts as like a really hydrating toner slash essence and it just really preps your skin for the rest of your skincare. One. I'm actually like almost running out of that one so I need to get more. So the next product I'm going to be applying is the hydration serum from Salt and Glow that was gifted to me by Splendor. This is what the bottle looks like. Yeah so I love that it comes with a dropper like it's just a bit more sanitary. This one here it provides up to 72 hours of hydration and it's got your hyaluronic acid in there which will really help to kind of plump up the skin it's got kelp and also cucumber it's an extremely lightweight hydration serum i'm just gonna do about two to three pumps and apply it onto my skin and i love this serum because it just absorbs straight into the skin and it doesn't leave like a sticky feeling i actually like really needed a new hydration serum as well for moisturizer i'm just going to use the biosance squalane and omega repair cream so this i bought i think i bought it during the 
first lockdown in Melbourne when Sephora was having their sale and it's been really nice so far. It actually reminds me of the Drunk Elephant um, Lala Retro Cream. It's got a similar texture. It's kind of like a lightweight cream. Super hydrating. It sits really nice under makeup. And I actually forgot to put on um, eye cream, so I'm going to do that now. For eye cream, I'm going to use the Sunday Riley Autocorrect eye cream. This one, um, a few of my girlfriends have really raved about it and also I would use it on clients a lot as well but I finally decided to get it for myself. It's got a really nice kind of like thin, really hydrating texture and it's also got a tiny bit of pearlescence through it so it actually like instantly brightens the under eye. My girlfriends have said that like this is like the only eye cream that they've seen results with so that's why I had to pick it up because I recently ran out of eye cream as well. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of primer. For an everyday makeup look, I do like to look a bit more glowy. But I like to control my oils and like any texture just with a little bit of a smoothing primer down my T-zone. So I'm just using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And then for the rest of the face, I just put on more of a glowy primer. So the one I usually use is the Laura Mercier um, Radiance Foundation Primer. So this one does have a bit of a glow through it. And I like to put this like on my cheeks and also a little bit like above the brow bone as well, because that's usually where the light naturally hits. And please ignore my eyebrows because obviously we're still in lockdown in Melbourne and no brow places are open and I haven't gotten them done in like months so they're so overgrown right now. Now I'm just going to apply my foundation. The one I've actually been recently using is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation. I've been loving this one for like an everyday makeup look because it is really glowy. It's got a medium but buildable coverage as well and it feels really comfortable on the skin. I absolutely love this one and I find that it is super long wearing as well. I think it's got like 16 or 15 hour wear. This shade that I've got is 2W1 Macadamia. I'm just going to say that I am really pale right now. I definitely usually would not be this color at all. Honestly, I've been using this one because it's the only foundation that like matches my skin tone right now. Everything else I've got is like way too dark. I like to apply my foundation with a foundation brush first. This is just a MAC foundation brush and I will list all of the products that I use down below. And I start from the center of my face and work my way outwards because the center of your face is usually where you need the most coverage. I usually just avoid the eye area because that's where I'm going to put concealer so I don't want like too much product there. And then what I like to do is I'll just press it in further and kind of blend it in more with my Morphe sponge. And then this is when I would go in with my under eye corrector from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Peach. So I usually just concentrate it right in here where it's like the most dark for me right in that like inner eye corner and then i'm just gonna go in with concealer next so this one here is from the brand kosas so i like to go a few shades lighter with my concealer and i'll literally just concentrate it where i want a little bit brighter so for me that would be like my smile lines, around my nose, chin, a bit around the mouth, down my nose, forehead, and a little bit on my eyelid area cool. and down the sides of my nose as well actually so I've heard um, amazing things about this concealer and 
I've seen a lot of like celebrity makeup artists use it so I knew I had to like try it out because I, I was actually like running out of my concealer as well surprisingly so this is actually the one that I usually use the flawless fusion from Laura Messier yeah I wanted to try a new one so I'm giving this a go and so far I'm really liking the texture of it it does have that medium kind of buildable coverage I'm just gonna blend it out with my morphe sponge I really like this concealer. <gasps> Holy shit. Really nice. The thing I hate about concealers is I don't like it when it looks really cakey or like really matte and dry. I love a good like hydrating concealer and this is definitely like hydrating. Like can you guys see that? I definitely need to get more colors, but this is this is the shade number three, and it's actually perfect for my skin tone right now. I think when I'm darker, I'd probably be like a 3.5 or a 4. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this concealer. Wow. Wow. I always just add like a little bit more there because I'm really dark there and while I'm waiting for that to kind of set I'm just gonna blend out my concealer on my eyelids and then I'm just gonna blend out that last bit of concealer so that's the concealer all done I might just set my face with a bit of powder first so I usually like doing a translucent powder underneath my eyes I'm using the Le Mer powder translucent powder and I'm just gonna take it with a brush and I'm just pressing it underneath my eyes. Now usually if I was doing like a going out look, I would definitely be baking. But because this is more of like a natural everyday makeup look, I don't want to make my skin look like too dry. That's why I'm just kind of pressing it in with a brush instead. You don't have to use obviously like a Le Mer powder, but just use any translucent powder you have at home. And then for the rest of the face, I'm just going to apply the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. I'm really just going to softly dust that all over. So now I'm just going to do my brows. The product I usually use is the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil in the shade War Brunette. And I just brush through my hairs first and then just do very light strokes. And I used to do like a really arched brow and I used to do it really long like all the way down here. But um, I think I've kind of gotten over that and now I just like it a little bit more subtle. I'm just doing the exact same on the other side. And then just to set the brows, I'm going to use the Hourglass Arch Fiber Gel. And this is just going to set everything in place. And gives a little bit more texture to your brows. So I kind of like to like brush through them first and then also back comb. So like brush backwards. Just so it the product coats like all of the hairs. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Naked Reloaded palette from Urban Decay. This one's got some really beautiful like warm neutral kind of tones. I'm just going to go in with the shade Bucked. Which is like a nice kind of warm brown transition kind of color for an everyday makeup look i always like to do something that's very wearable something that can kind of go with any outfit just with the fluffy brush i'm like buffing it through my crease and i'm really like extending it out like towards the temples just because i love like extending and elongating the eye I'm just going to take the darker, slightly darker brownie shade called Boundaries and I'm just going to take that through my crease again with a smaller brush. So this will just give the eyes a little bit more depth. I'm just going to take that first brown colour that I use and just smoke it on the bottom lash line. And then I'm just going to take the shade Blur, 
which was that bone kind of color and I'm just gonna pack that onto my lid just to kind of like open up the eyes And then I'm just going to do a little bit of winged liner. So this is from the brand Heroin Make, which is like a Japanese brand. And this is the like brown shade and it's waterproof and it's so long wearing, which is really great. I bought this one when I was in Japan. But I think you can buy it online. I've liked using a brown recently just because it doesn't feel as harsh as a black. And I find the brush on this liner just makes it so easy to do a precise wing. For mascara, I'm just using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is actually a really nice volumizing mascara and I actually got it free with my Sephora purchase. So now I'm just going to apply my favorite kind of everyday natural glam kind of lashes. So these are from Lavio and they're in the style Istanbul. But they're so nice. These are definitely my favorite pair from Lavio. They're really nice and wispy and long, but they're not overly like dramatic. So beautiful and fluffy. And I'm just gonna use the Lavio lash glue as well to apply these. And just make sure that you have enough glue, especially on the ends of the um, lash. That's usually where the lash tends to move or like flick out. I'm just gonna apply them now. Look how much of a difference that one lash makes. So I'm just going to do the exact same for the other eyelash. Now that I've got my amazing lashes on, I'm just going to line my waterline with a bit of a brown um, pencil liner. This one's from the brand Dolly Wink, which is also a Japanese brand. So I'm just going to pop that in my waterline top and bottom and this will really just like accentuate the eyes so i'm just gonna go ahead with the rest of my base and add a bit of color back into my face i'm just gonna do the hula bronzer first just to do a really light kind of contour I don't want to go too crazy just because this is more of an everyday makeup look. So I always apply it right on my jawline and a little bit above. Just kind of slim down the jawline. Get on my chin and around my forehead. And I also like using this color for my nose contour as well, which I'll do in a second. For my nose contour, what I usually do is I'll just walk down into the mirror and then just go down the sides of my nose with the Hula bronzer and I make sure to really connect it to my eyebrow and I kind of cut it off at the tip here. And this brush has honestly changed my nose contour game. This is the Morphe E62. It is honestly amazing for nose contour. You can do a little bit underneath your bottom lip as well. So I'm just going to warm up my face even more with a little bit of the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. Going really softly over that contour. Down the neck a little bit, around the forehead. So next up I'm just going to apply a little bit of blush just to tie everything all together. The one I'm going to use is a blush from Japan once again that I bought when I was overseas there. This one's from the brand Can Make. So it is just a really pinky glowy 
really natural blush and it comes with a brush as well and I really just apply it a little bit higher than the apple of my cheek and I just blend it up into the bronzer and contour that I've already done I feel like I've just been really into more of that pinky rosy blush recently Last but not least, we've got our highlighter. So the highlighter I'm going to use today is from MAC and it's called Beaming Blush. I actually like haven't used this one in a while, so I'm excited to see what it looks like on. So I'm just using a small eyeshadow brush. Oh, that's really nice, guys. Wow, I actually haven't picked up this one in a while. I forgot how nice it is. In the pan, it looks a bit like a rose goldy, pinky kind of tone, but it does have a lot of gold through it. So I think on my skin, it's coming on really gold, like a pearly rosy gold, which is so nice. And then I'm also gonna highlight my nose as well. So I usually just do a really thin line just down the center. And I don't do it like all the way down as well. I usually just keep it like right here. And then I do a tiny dot at the tip of my nose. Now all we've really got left are the lips. Usually for the lips, I'll do like a darker lip liner around the edges and then a really light um, lip color in the middle. I usually switch it up like sometimes I'll feel more of a matte color, sometimes I'll feel more of a creamy or like a glossy finish. I'm just going to do something different because I feel like you guys have seen me use sweet tea a lot like pretty much in like every video or like every selfie I'm using sweet tea so this one here is bare minerals in the shade attitude and this one here is a really dark kind of chocolatey brown but if you put a lighter lipstick in the middle it'll just kind of balance out and it'll look really nice it'll give you that like 90s glam kind of look I do like to really overline my lips and I'll usually overline it like right here, like at the bottom. And then I like kind of rounding out my cupid's bow. And I kind of just feather it in lightly. See how much fuller my lips already look with just the lip liner? I'm just going to do the MAC lipstick called Creme de Nude. This is a cream sheen finish, so... Oh, I really like that. And I might just blend out everything with a tiny bit of sweet tea from Morphe. And last but not least, I'm just going to go around the edges with a little bit of um, concealer. So some finishing touches, I'm just going to apply the Ofra Rodeo Drive Face and Body Mist from Splenda. And what you do is you kind of just shake it up like this. Rodeo Drive is actually Ofra's signature like highlighter kind of shade. So it's really cool that they've made it in a face and body mist. Today I'll probably just spritz it onto my like collarbones and shoulders. It is gorgeous. And I'm just going to grab a brush and just blend it out. Oh, I love this, guys. It just gives it the most beautiful sheen. It'd be really nice to like, if you're going out and like you're wearing a low cut dress or like you wanna spray, you could spray this like onto your legs and it would just give you like those like supermodel looking legs. It actually doesn't, it doesn't feel sticky as well. I've got the Fenty like body lava. That's more of like a really thick, like liquidy cream almost. This is definitely more of like a mist. So it does feel a bit more comfortable. And I'm also just gonna spritz my face with a bit of MAC um, Fix Plus.
and I'm just gonna take out my hair. guys i hope you guys enjoyed i'm so happy with how this turned out this is totally my everyday kind of makeup look but yeah thank you so much to splendor for sponsoring this video please check them out i'll pop all their links down below and lastly thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give it a like and make sure to follow me on instagram if you haven't already and i hope you guys are staying safe and doing well and as always i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.